I read the same report and I took the trouble to speak to all concerned, all the stakeholders from the Karima State Governor, the government and the security organizations. And I think it's like a case where you are comparing apples with oranges. They are not the same. Now, the truth of the matter is that El Zaki Zaki is currently facing a criminal trial in Kaduna, and he has not been admitted to bail. And that is a fact. So people will say, oh, the government is, you know, not obeying court order. I've forgotten that the El Zaki Zaki is actually facing a criminal trial as we speak today in Kaduna High Court. So it's not a matter of the government, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, no respecting court order. Two, the court order actually said that El Zaki Zaki should be, you know, uh, remained in prison custody. But out of magnanimity of government, uh, I don't know whether it should be on record or off record, I'm not sure, but I'll let me know. I think it should be off record. It should be off record. But it was out of magnanimity of the of government, the government said, that, and he actually, I'm told that he actually, you know, pleaded for that. It can't just survive in prison. Today, he lives in a residence, in a house provided by state security, where he chooses what he eats and 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 and, 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 and all that. <coughs> now, oh, and this should be off record, you know. Please, this uh, uh, what that, that is. I think you all know that is not in any prison custody. Is with is the guest of the SSS because he has to be held in a very comfortable, you know, uh, situation. And again, it's important to know that the uh, the the RMNL generally have no, no, no they don't recognize any government at all. And what transpired on the 24th, 27th, and 29th uh, is a situation whereby. No government in the world will tolerate this. You see, when you look at the uh, when you look at the 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 the, 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 the history, the IMNL, that's the Islamic movement in Nigeria. They have been demonstrating, they've been protesting the last two years in Abuja here. Anytime they are protesting or demonstrating. The police will provide, you know, a cordon. The police would protect them. But they are getting more and more violent. What happened on the 24th of, of October was very, very serious matter. A convoy of the military was escorting, you know, a convoy of missiles and ammunition from the headquarters to the Kaduna Central, uh, you know, uh, uh, depot, and they sought to take it over. And of course, no, no responsible army or country will allow that. In the process, three people were killed because they had to protect this, you know, uh, the, 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 the 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 sovereignty of Nigeria. Then. On 27th, they went and actually took over a checkpoint, pelting, you know, uh, motorists with, you know, uh, uh, breaking their windscreens, and they took over a, a, a checkpoint, I think it's in Zuba, and then the police had to withdraw, the military had to come in. Now, I, I, I've got to, to I, I, I'm giving you all this as background information so that you know how to write your story, that it's not the same thing as, you know, uh, the, the, the Yusuf issue. Yusuf issue is like, he, he was in custody, he was, he was taken into custody, and then he was judicially, you know, uh, you know, uh, executed, you know, sorry, extrajudicially uh, executed, and then all the, 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 the problems. But when you look at IMNL, and you look at, uh, uh, sorry, IMNL, and you look at uh, the uh, BH, they are two different organizations, and so far, what the what, what the, the, the Nigeria government has done in treating and handling this matter, it's it, it, it's 
in a very cautious and responsible way of handling a matter which is very, very sensitive. But it must be known that as we speak today, he is facing criminal trial in Canada, and it's not been given bail by that court. And I think that's the most important thing. All others I want you to know as you know, just background. Except the, except the one that you know actually happened 24th, 27th, and 29th of this month. Please, the issue of whether where he is, I think let's keep it off record, that he's in a residence and, you know, eating at the, his, I mean, it costs the government about 3.5 million naira every month to feed him. Yeah, then he need to take me in now. Sir, I should take you here. Honestly, that, uh, this, um, I call, don't quote me, but these <laughs> are the facts. The three point five million naira. I'm, 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 I'm asked. I can take I'm asked. I was. I, I, I asked. <laughs> so please, uh, 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 you don't want to inflame passion. You see, you, you don't want to inflame passion. You know, you know, a very sensitive matter. Uh, uh, and uh, but that is situation. The, uh, the Islamic movement of Nigeria are a different kettle of fish.